L-I-V-E. I don't say L-I-V-E. I don't know they can be alive. I think they can go. So you can command them to go. You can command them to leave. And they leave. Hallelujah. Amen. Sicknesses can leave. Diseases can leave. They can go. They came. They can also go. So that is it. And then, so the first thing that I said was that sickness and disease can leave. Or, or they, they came in, rather. That's the first thing. There was a time they came in. Even if you were born with it, there was a time they still came in. It was not, uh, it's not normal. Sickness and diseases are never normal. They are never normal to us. So they can leave, and there was a time they came. So after they had come, they can also go. Sicknesses and diseases are not normal. Hallelujah. So the sicknesses left her. The, the fever, left, the type of sickness that was here was fever. Jesus, the one that, that, that healed of the fever, can also, can also be, deliver us from demonic attacks and, and, and operations. There are demonic attacks and operations that also people also think are normal. They are not normal. Demonic, demonic manifestations are not normal. You know, there are some cycles that we come into a lot of times that that brings certain issues against us that we don't even we can't fathom how they came. They are they are such issues are usually that demonic issues. They they are not uh, things that we should tolerate. So we can tell them go. We can tell them leave, and they will leave. Now why can we do that? The, the next verses provide opportunities for that. I mean, um, foundations for that. And the verse 14 says, or rather verse um, 16 or 15, okay, we're reading verse 15. So he touched her hand, that was verse 15, and the fever left, and she arose and served them. Verse 16, when evening had come, I'm sure those who have been doing a go, and uh, you know this um, herbal mixture for Peter's uh, mother-in-law before that time heard that so my mama was sick and mama everybody was thinking ah, is mama going to go at this time oh lord don't let mama go oh, lord mama should not go at this time and all of that now they saw they saw that um, she was healed and had it and they knew that the difference was Jesus so, Jesus touched me. How did he get healed? Jesus touched me. The Lord touched me. Jesus touched me. And then it was, she was, uh, uh, they, they, they spread the, the, the news abroad. They spread the news abroad. Hallelujah. They spread the news abroad. Where they heard, where they, and, and then people came in the evening where they knew that Jesus was in the house. They came. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirit with a word. Did you see? You don't even use many words. He cast out the spirit with a word. And healed all who were sick that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Hallelujah. So this is where we're, 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 um, uh, we're centering in on. In the healing uh, segment of this meeting, this one, you know, in the evening they brought all those who are sick, and the scripture says he is cast out. See, when evening had come, they brought in many who were demon possessed. Oh, not just that they were sick. Of course, when you are demon possessed, when a person is demon possessed, uh, the demons work certain anomalies in the body. We have to be spiritual minded. We have to be spiritually minded. Hallelujah. We have to be spiritually minded. Praise God. We, 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 do, we should refuse to see. We should refuse to see um, sicknesses as normal. As no, normal occurrences of, or normal eventualities of certain physical processes. You understand? Did you, did you, can I come again? We should not see sicknesses and diseases as normal eventualities. What are like eventualities as outcomes? They are not normal, regular, usual outcomes. Well, you know, that is one of the things that prevents healings to come from coming. When people have already think, taken it that 
sicknesses that the sick man that is upon them. Oh, it's not because uh, I did this thing. It's not because I did that thing. Yes, it may be the spark. Sometimes there was there were times uh, in my life when I overworked my body, and I have come into the place of um, of great stress upon the body upon my body. You know, Jesus Christ told the disciples, "Come ye apart and rest a while." And uh, there are times like that, and I find out that my body did not get deserved rest. So I I have symptoms of sickness or even of the fever. And but immediately I get back to my bed and I sleep and I rest my head, I rest my mind, I rest my body. I don't even need to say sickness go out. Praise God. But even with that, we should not take it as a, a, a normal thing. Sickness is not normal, it's not regular. Praise the Lord. Now, so when evening had come, they brought unto him many who were demon possessed. And like I was trying to explain, when people are demon possessed, the demon came into their bodies. And then they will do certain things, the demons will do certain things that are not usual with those people's bodies. The demons will do certain things that are not usual, that are not regular with those people's bodies. That's why you see, some people say they have, <clears throat> um, some people can have internal sicknesses and diseases. Some people can have um, livers that are not functioning well, kidneys that are not functioning well. A lot of times, those things are not normal. They are not usual. They are not regular. Praise God. In fact, there is no time they are normal. I just use the word a lot of times. I don't know. Every time they are not normal. They are abnormal. Hallelujah. We should see them like that. Now, there are some that are, of course, aided by, sick, by direct attack of demons. But there are others which are not um, just direct attack of demons, but they are as a result of certain physical things that people have done. But even at that, they are still abnormal. Praise God. We, our minds should be spiritual when it comes to sickness and diseases. If we, if we want to receive supernatural healing, we must shift the basics of the understanding of our mind from that which is physical and physiological to that which is spiritual. If we cannot see it that way, we will have a great problem. We will not be able to receive healing as at when we are supposed to. Now, so he says, when Ibi had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And what did he do? He did not begin to give them um, herbs. He did not begin to begin to give them certain uh, issues. Now, okay, I talked about herbs now. Well, there are, when it comes to food, you know, that's why it's when, uh, food can be responsible for sicknesses and diseases. The food we take. Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, for example, um, the kind of food we eat today. You know, that's why God told Israel, I will bless your bread and bless your water and take away disease from the midst of you. Hallelujah. I will bless your bread and bless your water and take disease away from the midst of you. So, um, so it, that shows us that a lot of things that are connected to our healing are related to what we eat, you know. But we're not even really centering our thing, our, 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 the message on that today. But it's also part of it. Um, when I, sometimes when I pray for people a long time and I do not see a direct the desired results. One of the things that I do is ask God to give us wisdom to how to deal with this issue, to give us the secrets of what's going on, what's wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, um, a lot of times, uh, let me tell you what happened to me recently. Recently, I discovered that I usually have mouth rush from time to time, maybe once a month, and it can be very painful. And you know, as a preacher, on my tongue as a preacher i you know you you need your mouth to talk <laughs> you understand so that's abnormal i'm not saying that's normal but late um sometimes back very recently i just thought oh maybe this is even vitamin c i don't think i take a lot of fruits i take some you know but i don't think i take a lot of fruits so you know what i did i went to the chemist and i bought a big jar of vitamin C. 
the 1,000 kilo, um, kilogram, the 1,000 milligram salt per tablet, you know. And I took it once, and the mouth rush cleared. Now, what was what is inside vitamin C? It is packaged oranges and fruits and things that come out. I think maybe citric citric um, acids and all that. That is what we can find in oranges. You can find maybe in mangoes. You can find in all the fruits we're supposed to get. So I guess they just harnessed them together and, um, and compacted them together and gave them in tablets. And that solved the problem. Praise God. Now, so a lot of times, um, let me give another example of Reverend Hagee's, uh, uh, one of because he was one of the most ardent of teachers um, of healing and of, uh, and of faith um, back in the days when we were growing up. We read his books when we were growing up. We heard his messages and we did what um, um, he said according to the word and then we got results. Hallelujah. So one of the things that he said was that whenever you Okay, he said, he said there was a, a, a man who he was ministering to who had a, a lot of problems um, with the stomach. And then, uh, I, I can't remember adequately, but I said it, is that he was ministry to that person, or that person was a minister who was seeking his own healing. You know, but if, uh, one day he said the minister um, went to visit a man, another person, and then the person said, ah, why do you take so much of a thick coffee? You know, I'm sure some of the people who are hearing me this morning may know the testimony if you read a lot of Hagen's books. You know, and say, why do you why do you take a lot of coffee? The way you you know that your coffee is too thick and all that. And then he said he said because that may be what I mean that can cause cause you stomach problems. And then the person understood and then but the person started taking more water and fruits, and then the the, the stomach upset went. So it is true that when it comes to sicknesses and diseases, certain things may be responsible that may not be, uh, that, may, that may be physical. But even then, it is still abnormal. So, so a lot of times, certain, those things that are responsible, which may be physical, need, we need to ask God for wisdom. Lord, what's, it, what's going on? What am I doing that is, that is wrong? What am I doing that is, you know, sometimes, especially when it, takes, when it has taken a long time, you know, for us to get to the place where we can say the word of God concerning healing has worked. You know, I have seen I have seen uh, a lot of healings take place um, when I prayed for people also that are um, that I don't have anything to do with. Um, maybe you're not eating this or not eating that. And so we're, we're concerned about that type this morning, and I'm going to be praying with people this morning. When evening had come, verse 16. Uh, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. So when demons enter into people's bodies, and people say uh, be believers cannot have demons, I've had that was a great issue when we were growing up as believers uh, uh, in our younger days. Can believers be possessed of devils? Can believers have uh, devils in their minds? Can believers have devils in their bodies? Yes, we just, we know that the, a believer cannot be possessed of the devil in his spirit. That is still a fact. I have not seen anything in scripture that negated that. But a believer cannot, uh, I mean, can, can, be, can be oppressed in his mind and can be oppressed in his body. He can possess a person's body. The, the, the Satan can, I mean, the demons can possess somebody's body, jump on somebody's body and twerk it and make it such that things don't work well. That is one of the reasons why, and I'm bringing it to the issue of the kingdom today. That is the reasons why we need to understand that the powers of this age are trying to bring demonic traits into our bodies through the vaccines that they are making so that we, our bodies will be not as God made it to be anymore. That is one of the things they are trying to do. Say, I will bless your bread and bless your water. They want to unbless. They want to curse our, our bread and curse our water. That's why the, the GMOs are coming on. The things that cause cancer, you know, the, 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 the increase of cancerous news. And many people, even in Nigeria, ah, this person, what happened? They say it's cancer. That person, what happened? It's cancer. Because of the kind of things that they are giving people to eat, uh, making available in the markets. That is why you need to get your land. I mean, I'll be telling people on Facebook, go and get your land. Go and get land. 
Uh -huh. Okay, we're not, we're not talking too much about that. We're talking about healing, you know. Maybe some of those things are usually creeping. Now, so anomalies that come into the body can provide room for Satan to walk, for demons to walk. Let me show you this. Um, if the if if for example, if your body is meant to walk this way, like the way this microphone is standing up, and it is like this, no no alterations can come against it no satanic power can come against it at all it no order of satan can come against this now but when i do it like this just watch me i do it like this are you are you, are you, you are not hearing me anymore no i deliberately did it like this you know why uh, to sort and uh, to, to give an example now so i did it like this now you will now begin to you will need prayer now for this thing to work well so one of the things that they are trying to do with these vaccines they are trying to make and all of the things that come upon our bodies is to provide an avenue where Satan can walk. Satan walks in disorder. Satan walks in um, when the order of God is slanted, is, real, is maladjusted. You know, so what the enemy wants to do is to get us to the place where the orders of our bodies are maladjusted or is maladjusted such that it can give room for Satan to walk. You want Satan to walk? Go to uh, you know, uh, a dung hill. Go to a dung hill right now. You are not possessed of the devil. Just go to a dung hill and then go stay there for about a week and just, just stay around. You will see the enemy through that physical contact will come into your body. The smell, the contact of flies, they are serving your food there and all of that. The Satan will be able to come in upon that person's body. Or take drugs. Don't take drugs. <laughs> but you see, when people take drugs, these drugs that affect the mind and get them into a high, when people take those kind of drugs, it provides, you know what drug, those drugs do? They give room. When I say they give room, I'm not just talking about giving allowance. They provide bedroom, sitting room, toilet for the enemy, the kind that Satan likes to live in so that Satan can come into their bodies and oppress them. Hallelujah. So to all of that, we need to say, in the name of Jesus, get out sickness. Mention the name of the sickness and tell the enemy, get out in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave. You can say that and the person will experience an instant relief of God, of God's hand upon them. And if you are sick this morning, um, I'll be praying with you. But let's say this word. Um, that it might be fulfilled. You know, Jesus Christ cast the spirits out with his word. Where, 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 where was he doing it? Where did where what, what was what was where was that place where he was operating in P, in Peter's house? It was in that place that they brought all the sick. You know the child coming in trickles. Immediately, uh, grandma got healed. Ah, they just remember that uh, there is one little boy from the next uh, street that was sick. Oh. So they brought the boy to Jesus and he healed. I was healed. Then, uh, then they remembered. Another sister that's going to get married next weekend, and that because of the, uh, the the troubles of the wedding and moving around and all of that, she was sick, and then they brought her. And they remember that there was one guy that had an accident on his. Uh, it was uh, the Roman um, chariot. One Roman chariot. He was not looking, and the, the horse hit him, and the horse pressed on his back, and his back was like you know he could not walk well. So and he had been keeping his bed, so they brought him. Then. When the you know they were bringing people in trickles like that. So when the evening now came, when people came back from their farms, from their shepherding, from their carpentry work, and all of that, they just uh, people have been, because people have been going and receiving healing. They just block Peter's house with with the sick, and the Bible says, ah, you know, maybe Jesus needed some rest. <laughs> but they have been healing this one, healing the other one, healing this one. You know, they've been bringing uh, sick sickness cases. You know, to him, and then the Bible says the Lord cast out the spirit with His word. Come out! When he saw all of them, just like that, and they began to pop out. This the sickness popped out. The Bible says this fever left. That fever upon your body can leave. It has ability to go. You understand what I'm saying? You have to believe it. It has ability to go. Praise God. That sickness, that cancer has ability to go. That kidney problem has ability to go. That liver problem has ability to go. 
all of those sicknesses have ability to go. That brain tumor has the ability to go. That bad eye, eye defect had the ability to go. There was a time they came and there is a time they're going to go. The Bible says that it might be fulfilled. Um, that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself. How can I say he himself? You will have, it, 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 it's, it's just okay. It's just enough to say himself took our infirmities. Or to just say he took our infirmities. He said he himself. So, you know, that emphasis was just to know, let you know that you have every right to believe God for healing and health. Because the Lord did it. That it might be freed. He himself took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Let me show you this. He said that it might be fulfilled. That promise was always there. But they never enjoyed that promise. Praise God. That, so the provision was there. You know, God takes care of, of all the needs of his people. The solution was there. But the people did not take advantage of the solution. That it might be fulfilled. He himself took our infirmities and bore our diseases. So is anybody here uh, this morning under the sound of my voice here this morning in the meeting and um, can rise wherever you are and you're hearing me whether on Mix LR or you're hearing me on, the, um, on Zoom or you are here with me on Facebook and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, just put your hand at that place where that sickness is manifested. And I'll pray with you now. In the name of Jesus, I command. Because he himself took our infirmities and bore our diseases. By his stripes we have been healed. I therefore command and lay hold upon that sickness and disease. And I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Because himself took your infirmities and bore your disease. By stripes, you have been made whole. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We exalt you. We lift you up. Can we just lift up our hands and just bless the Lord? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship his only name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship is only Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Can we raise our voices and bless the Lord? Oh my soul, worship is only is this one working? Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Because oh I am healed by his stripes. Because I am healed by his stripes. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, 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 oh my soul. Bless his name. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, worship is only name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship him, worship. 